Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna be doing another $100 shopping challenge. The last one I did, I spent $100 at 10 different stores and it was super fun and super interesting to see. But I saw a lot of comments saying it was hard to get a comparison because I bought different items at each store. So I thought for today, I would go to two different stores that sell like pretty similarly priced clothes, Walmart and Target. And I would try to buy the same outfit at both stores and see how much I can get for $100. So my plan is I'm gonna go to both stores and I'm gonna try to get a pair of high-waisted jeans, a blouse, and some sort of like cardigan or blazer or jacket to go over the top. And I'm honestly not sure how much all of that is gonna cost, so if I end up having extra money before I get to that $100 threshold, I'm gonna try to find some accessories and maybe some shoes to like spice it up. I shop for clothes at Target a lot, but I probably haven't shopped for clothes at Walmart since I was in like high school. So it's been a while. I'm not really sure what their prices are like or what their clothes are like, but we're gonna find out. And just like my first shopping challenge, the rules are gonna be the same. I get $100 at each store and I can go plus or minus $10 from that $100 threshold. So anywhere from 90 to 110 because it is nearly impossible to hit that $100 mark right on the head. And anything that I don't wear within the first week, I'm gonna be returning because I don't wanna be wasteful and I also don't wanna waste my money. So let's go, let's go to Target or Walmart. Which should we do first? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We have arrived, and by we, I just mean me and my camera awkwardly filming myself in a parking lot. But uh, let's head inside and see what kind of outfit I can put together for under $100. Oh my gosh, these pants are so freaking cute. Okay, Sarah, that's not what we're here for. These are cute with the paper bag waist. Love those, that's an option. No 12s in this one. Looks like they have a 10 and a 14. So I'm gonna go for the 14. 24 bucks, okay, Target, I see you. Okay, so my cart is like full right now with probably six or seven options for jeans and five options for tops. So I think before I try to figure out like a cardigan or accessories, I'm gonna go try those on. That way I can coordinate the other pieces to match those and then also figure out like pricing and how much I'll have to spend on the other pieces. Oh my gosh, but look at all the cute like kimonos they have right here. These are like totally my thing. So maybe I'll grab one of these and then just do like a basic tee with it maybe. That could be cute. Cute, like that little crop top with a kimono. I feel like that could work with some like girlfriend jeans. I think I got a few pairs of like looser fitting jeans. Cart is filling up. I think it's time for the dressing room. <laughs> got the outfit figured out, well, most of it. Now I just need to figure out what I wanna do with the rest of my budget. I'm thinking shoes for sure, maybe like some sandals or some flats or even a little booty. <laughs> booty. Anyways, aside from me literally being 12, maybe some earrings, some jewelry. I think after these three pieces I have I have about $40 left, so I've only spent slightly above half of the budget on the majority of the outfit. Target, the deals are a lot better than I expected. <laughs> Okay, so here is my Target outfit. I've got the little kind of like knockoff Birkenstocks for my shoes. The high rise paper bag, kind of like faded denim jeans and I cuffed these at the bottom to make them capris. Black t-shirt, little gray cardigan, which honestly I should put this on because it is part of the outfit. I think the outfit looks fine and really doesn't need a cardigan, but it was part of the $100, so we're gonna include it. Then I have these silver hoop earrings, a little chambray hair scarf, and that is the look for $105.37. I think I'll put the full price on the screen. So I really like this outfit. I think it came together super well. The jeans are definitely the standout for me. I have been looking for a pair of like high rise, relaxed fit denim jeans, and I tried like five pairs at American Eagle, and they all were either too tight in the thighs, so they didn't look loose fitting or I sized up so they fit my thighs and then the waist had a giant gap. But with these I sized up so they fit my legs comfortably and have like a relaxed slouchy fit. They're not like too curve hugging but the waist is elastic. It's that like paper bag kind of waistband. 
So it fits nice and comfortably. It's not like pushing on me, but I'm not gonna have to hike them up all day. These jeans are fine, definitely keeping these. So I'm actually taking off the tag. The t-shirt's just a basic, but it's cute. And I tucked it in, but it's kind of like a, a boxy crop if I don't have it tucked. Cardigan is nice and least fitting. Like I said, I don't think this outfit really needs it, but I was able to get this as well for part of the hundred bucks. These shoes are like surprisingly comfortable. They're like super soft and squishy. I don't have real Birkenstocks because like I don't spend a lot of money on shoes. I probably should. Whenever I say I won't splurge on shoes, you guys are like, shoes are the one thing you should splurge on. But these Target ones, really comfortable and give the same really cute casual look. I think the accessories really tied the look together. I was excited that I had some extra money in the budget to be able to add the earrings and the bandana. So overall, yeah, I'm really digging this look for a hundred bucks. Go Target. Oh yeah, it's Walmart time. I am very interested to see how this compares to Target because I feel like I did so well at Target. And Walmart, I usually think of as way cheaper than Target, but Target prices were so good and the clothes were so cute. We'll see, we'll see how Walmart holds up against it. Guys, I think I found the perfect shirt. We're gonna have to go with this one. Walmart has a massive plus size section. That is awesome. And it seems like it starts at 14. So I may be able to try a few things from the plus size section and then still get most of my stuff from like the straight sizes. That's one of the cool things about being like a size 12-ish is a lot of the times I can shop in both sections because plus size usually starts around 12 and straight sizes usually go up to like a 14. So I'm like right in that middle, little middle section. These jeans have like tie elastic waist, like they're sweatpants, but they're they're just jeans, so I think I'm gonna have to try one of these. I think I have some good contenders for jeans. Now I'm gonna try to find some tops, which I think is gonna be a lot more difficult. I'm not seeing a lot of like cute, fashionable tops. I'm seeing a lot of like graphic tees, like the one I showed you guys. And that's not really what I'm trying to go for for this outfit. So hopefully I can find something like that and then some sort of jacket to go over the top. Like graphic tees or maybe, maybe one of these striped tops would work. That's pretty cute. I like that tie in the middle. The prices here are definitely cheaper, but I feel like the clothes just are, are really a lot more outdated dated than Target. Like this is something I probably would have worn in middle school, but not really now in 2019 as a 23 year old. This piece is on its own, but that looks pretty cute. I feel like that's kind of up my alley. Finally found one little section of cardigans. There are like no jackets or outerwear that I can find anywhere. So hopefully this will work and I'll keep browsing and see if I find anything else to compare it with. Okay, wait, there's some more cardigans right there. Okay, maybe I was just in the wrong section for like cardigans. 15 bucks. Ooh, and it comes with a shirt too. I think that's a good option. Oh my gosh, look at this like a blatant rip off of Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I don't even like Victoria's Secret, but it is just funny like how blatant that is. I'm trying my best not to be biased because the prices at Walmart are really good. I'm just not seeing a lot of clothes in my style. So hopefully I can find something that works. At Target, it was definitely a lot easier for me to find things in my style, but that's just kind of a personal preference thing. Like I guess Target style is just more up my alley, but I'm gonna go try this stuff on and see what kind of outfit I can put together. Okay, so I have my outfit and uh, this only brings me to $40 with the cardigan, the shirt, and pants. Also, I asked one of the employees if they had any jackets and they said no, so I'm gonna go look in the men's section. Maybe I can find a men's jacket, but that means I have another $60 to fill with uh, accessories, shoes, maybe a bag. I gotta get to that $100 mark, so this outfit, this outfit's gonna have a lot of, a lot of dimensions to it. I found the handbag to tie my look together. <laughs> Honestly though, I'm like tempted. This outfit's gonna have so much going on already because I'm buying so many little accessories. Okay, maybe not that bag, but a bag. Walmart, your prices are too good. I can't make an outfit for a hundred dollars. I need to make like four outfits for that price. Yes. Oh, yay. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, so here is my Walmart outfit. As you guys saw, I was trying every little thing I could to hit at least $90. And this is the ensemble that did it. This was, I believe it was $91 and 
30 something cents. I'll put the full total on the screen. So this entire outfit was covered under that. That includes these little black sandals, these high rise dark wash capris, little black belt, striped t-shirt, blue cardigan, black backpack, gray headband, and my sunglasses. But let's talk about this outfit because I think it came together pretty well. Like looking at myself in the camera, I don't think this looks bad, but the amount of time I spent in Walmart looking for things that fit my style and then trying things on that were never gonna work. Like it took me so long to get to this outfit that I feel like is kind of maybe slightly above mediocre. So my biggest problem at Walmart was the big like sizing disparity. So these jeans that I ended up getting are a 15. I tried on some jeans in a 13 that were too big and some in like a 15 that were way too small. They have like a few different brands that they carry and each of those brands has very different sizing. So I kept having to come in and out of the dressing room because I'd try one pair on in like a 13 that'd be too big. I'd be like, all right, maybe I'm an 11 and grab an 11 and all the other pairs. And then in one of those pairs, I'd actually end up needing like a 15 or a 17. There was just like such a big difference in sizing. It made it really difficult to shop. But once I did actually find a pair of jeans in like a cut and a fit that was right for me, these are actually actually pretty nice. They're comfortable, they're a little bit stretchy, but still have some structure to them. I think these jeans are actually a really good find. But like I said, it was a find. It took me a lot of time to find a pair of jeans that I liked. I actually really like this t-shirt. I think the t-shirt and the belt are my two favorite parts of this outfit. But most of the t-shirts that I had were like graphic tees with like little like sayings and quotes on them, which isn't really my thing. Although that t-shirt that said like, my grandma is fabulous or whatever it said, that, that was a great shirt. The pricing was so low, it took me a while to actually get to that $100 threshold, which is why I have like the little backpack, the sunglasses, all the different things. But the end product, this outfit that I eventually put together, it's actually something that I would wear. It fits my style. These little shoes especially, I feel like these are such a find. It's so hard to show because my camera can only go back so far. I would say that Walmart does have some things that work. It just takes a lot of digging to find them. So let's do a comparison of the two outfits, the Target outfit and the Walmart outfit. So at Target, my jeans were $24 and the jeans I got at Walmart were $14.98. So Walmart definitely wins on the price, but I would say for quality and just general style, the Target ones are definitely superior. I definitely think the Target jeans are worth an extra $9 and I'm actually really excited about these jeans. Like I said, super comfortable, super flattering. And I think that $24 price point is definitely fair. And then the tops, my Target, Target shirt was $7 and my Walmart shirt was $9.92. The Target shirt wins in price and I think the fit and the quality of the Target shirt is better, but it is just a plain black boxy crop top, whereas the Walmart shirt does have that striped pattern on it and I love those colors. Then the cardigan. At Target, this gray cardigan was $24.99 and at Walmart, this blue cardigan was $14.98. There isn't anything particularly special about either of these two cardigans but I do think it's cool that the Walmart cardigan also came with another shirt underneath, especially for that price. I feel like that's a really good deal. So for price, Walmart wins. And again, for quality and fit, I'm gonna give it to Target. I just think the Target cardigan is a lot higher quality and it, I think it is worth the extra few bucks. And then sandals. My Target shoes were $22.99 and my Walmart sandals were $8.44. I'm honestly surprised at how comfortable both of these pairs of shoes are. For price, obviously at Walmart, you're getting the better deal. And I don't think there's a huge difference in like the look and the quality of these two pairs. I guess the Target ones are slightly more comfortable, but with that price difference, I definitely say I'd go for the Walmart shoes. And then I have a headband from Target for $9.99 and a headband from Walmart for $2. Obviously price, Walmart wins. And for a headband, I don't think there is a huge difference in like the quality. I like the little like chambray polka dot look of the Target headband better, but with that price difference, I am gonna choose Walmart over Target for the headband. And then in addition to those items that I got at both Walmart and Target, obviously I got more stuff at Walmart. So I had this black belt for $6.50, this black backpack for $19.97, and these sunglasses for $7.94. Also, I totally forgot to mention, I also got those little hoop earrings from Target 
for $7.99. So after this comparison, Walmart clearly has lower prices almost all the way across the board, except for those t-shirts. But the Target items I think are definitely cuter and feel and look more high quality. And it was definitely a lot easier to shop in the Target clothing section than in the clothing section at Walmart. The price difference between Walmart and Target isn't as big as it should be for the difference in quality and style. Personally, I am definitely willing to pay an extra five to $10 per item for something that feels higher quality, that is more suited to my style and to just have a better shopping experience in general and more to choose from. Obviously not everyone has the flexibility in their budget, but if you do, I would say that Target is definitely the winner here. And looking at these two outfits side by side, I think the Target outfit is definitely cuter, definitely more flattering and definitely more my style. And the items at Target weren't even hard to find. I had like four or five options that I really liked for each piece at Target. Whereas at Walmart, I felt like I was scraping the bottom of the barrel just to find something that I even moderately liked. I've seen a lot of people saying that Walmart has upped their style game lately, but from my experience shopping today, I would say that's not the case. It's pretty much the way I remembered it when I used to shop there in high school. Really low prices, difficult to find things, and not a lot of clothes that are really like in style right now. But Target, on the other hand, Target has absolutely stepped up their style game. I, every time I walk in, I'm surprised at how many cute options they have. And I feel like the fit is good, the quality is good, Target, I'm a fan. I did try to give Walmart the benefit of the doubt throughout this video because I really wanted to like their stuff. Anytime I can get a good deal on clothes, I think that's great. And you definitely don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on clothes to look cute and feel confident. So I was rooting for you, Walmart, but you let me down. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think Walmart was better? Do you think Target was better? And do you think the slight price difference with Target being a little bit more expensive is worth it? I personally do, but let me know what you think in the comments. And if you guys wanna see another video like this where I compare two stores, let me know down in the comments. This is the first video I've done like this. I really enjoyed doing that like $100 at 10 different stores video, but that was obviously really expensive to make. I wanna make another one though. I was thinking of doing like outlet stores versus full price stores and comparing $100 at each of those places. I think that could be interesting. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you would wanna see. And make sure that you subscribe, join the family. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys next time. Bye.